Hello, good evening, guys. How are you? Good evening. Very, very good. Thank you. Great. Hello, Nelson. How are you? Hello, good Lucy. Night. Hello. Hello, Melissa. How are you, Melissa? Okay, guys, we will wait for the rest of your classmates, okay, to join the class so we can start. Thank you for being on time, okay? Let's Thank wait. You. You're welcome. Let's wait just two more minutes and we will start. Hello, hello. Oh my God, where are the rest of you guys? I just can't see Christian here. Christian besides the other ones. Christian, además de los otros que ya estaban, ¿verdad? Hello, uh, Jerixa, hello, and Christian, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, I'm fine. Great. Uh, let's see. Well, guys, we will start the class right now because I thank you a lot for your, uh, for being uh, on time. So let me get a second. Hello, Patricia, welcome. And we will start, okay? Just Hello, me... good morning, good morning, good evening. <laughs> good evening, how are you, Patricia? Good? Good, good. Good, great. Okay, just one moment, guys, and we will start, okay? I'll go with the attendance, attendance list, so just one second. Because it's, it's cold, right? Guys, so yo o, o, o está bien helado. It's cold, teacher. You are sick. <gasps> You're so mean, Christian. Yes, I'm sick. FYI. <laughs> it's very hot. Guys, yo tengo un gran frío aquí hasta llover, hasta llover quería. Oh, my God. ¿Verdad que sí? <risa> Cómo se ríe este muchacho, vea. Guys, ¿qué se hicieron los demás? Oh, my God, they are not here. They are late today. Too late. Okay. So let's see who's who's here. Ah, Stefania. Thank you, Stefania. Okay, guys. So let me go through the attendance list right now. Okay. Just allow me one moment. And please say present whenever you hear your name, guys. And turn on the camera so I can go through the attendance list, okay? 
Do me that favor, please. Do me that favor. Okay, so Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Let's see. Today is Monday the 7th. Oh my God. Okay, great. Uh, Selena Margarita Ramírez de Chávez. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Present. Eric Mauricio Renderos Tomasino. Eric Mauricio Renderos Tomasino. Francisco Eduardo Larín Pineda. Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Sí. Jacqueline Liliana Barrera Hernández. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Wow, Jaime is late. Jaime, what's going on? Jose Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Ovidio Flores Rivas. Linda Magali García Montoya. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Present. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Milton Hernández Sola. Patricia Carolina Rodríguez Present Herrera. Thank you. Present. Present. Rosa Acalia Conrado Quijada. Present. Hi, Rose. Hi. Sabrina Lisset García Orellana. Present. Sabrina, hello. Jessica Melissa. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Jessica Melissa Oya Cisneros. Present. Surma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Glenda Maricela Cuellar Martinez. Fátima Xiomara Palacios Navarro. <laughs> Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Thank you, Patricia. Okay, so thank you for your time and thank you for being here. Let's see. We will start the classes right now. Hello, Mr. Abelar Cortez. Sorry, Hello. <laughs> oh my God, first time. Wow. I was surprised for you, Mr. Cortez. Believe me, I was surprised. Jaime, where are you? <laughs> Mr. Larin, welcome back, Mr. Larin. How are you? ¿Qué se nos había hecho, Francisco? I'm fine, teacher. I'm working in my brand really okay thank you thank you a lot for being here uh ismael i saw ismael there yes mr moran vasquez hello hello marcos hello 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 teacher good night good night <laughs> okay good good evening guys how are you good Present. Present. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, guys, so we will start with the class right now, okay? Um, hello, Milton, are you good with the internet? Yes? Great, perfect. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, guys, so we will start with the class today, all right? Uh, we have a review today and let me stop, start sharing the screen. We have a review about the unit number two. 
Okay, we have a review and practice about the unit. Remember, today is the last day of the week. All right. Um, so we will deliver the homework assignments by today. All right, before midnight, guys, don't forget about this. Okay, because I need to send those grades tomorrow. So please, recuerden, guys, de completar las cinco actividades ahora, porque ahora es el final de la semana. Um, the classes, so mañana iniciamos otra semana, guys, and so on. Okay, si tienen preguntas, dudas de la de los ejercicios, you're more than welcome to ask me. Me pueden preguntar, yo con gusto les ayudo, guys. Y uh, just FYI, today will stay with me. Um, oh my god, let's see. Lucy, Natalie, Juarez de Ramírez. Lucy, oh no, Lucy, you stay already with me, sorry. Luis Ernesto, no está acá, guys. Luis Ernesto, Marcos, entonces. Marcos, usted se queda conmigo today, ¿ok? Marcos. Uh, los, el 101, ¿ok? Teacher, for yes. today is the middle exam. Cristian, thank you for letting me know. Fíjense que eso les iba a preguntar porque quería asegurarme de la fecha que ustedes tienen ahí en, el, en la plataforma, en la plataforma. Ustedes tienen que es para ahora. Just to make sure. I, I made the, the 10 exercise uh -huh. and look the meter exam in the moment. En the midterm exam no aparece un due date, no aparece una fecha límite para hacerlo. Solamente para confirmar. Let me, let me see. Sorry, porque uh, yo tenía la fecha para el miércoles, pero I, I just want to make sure. Quiero asegurarme. Y los temas, Cristian, que usted vio en el midterm, todos estaban cubiertos, right? Hasta el momento, o sea, no hay problema si lo hacen, porque como le digo, yo lo tenía hasta uh -huh. a mediados. Yo, yo no lo he hecho todavía, pero ah, yo, okay. anot, yo anoté, el, el primer día anoté que era para el 7, creo, si no me equivoco. Pero sí están los mismos temas. Ah, ok. I did it, teacher. Y Sabrina, ¿cómo le fue? Good. It's all the topics we are. Ten. We Perfect. Great. All the topics? Yes. Until the, left, the last class. Okay. The past. Past tense. Sí, Friday. Okay. So, guys, uh, si pueden hacerlo ahora, hagámoslo el día de ahora, el midterm exam, porque a usted no le parece el due date, ¿verdad, Sabrina? ¿Hasta cuándo llega? No, 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 yo porque hice la, hasta la tarea 5 porque la adelanté el fin de semana porque todavía no iba a poder y automáticamente el siguiente me tiraba el midterm test, así que lo hice. Ah, ok, ok. Vaya, entonces, guys, eh, les voy a corroborar, ok, porque... Por lo que yo tenía entendido era el oper, oh, give me a second. Es, esta es la segunda semana, right? Second week. Yes. Wow, you're right. Oh my God. I thought it was just one week. No es cierto. Entonces, guys, ahora es el último día, ok? Y uh, sí, van a ver prácticamente los temas que ya hemos cubierto. Así que con el, el repaso de este vocabulario lo van a poder um, hacer. Así que no se preocupe. Ahora es la fecha límite. No sé por qué, en, en, en qué momento yo pensé que era el viernes o el miércoles, la, finales de la segunda semana y finales de la segunda semana es ahora. So, uh, you're right, Cristian. Ahora, guys, please completen el midterm exam, ¿ok? Todos completemos ese examen. Ya los temas están cubiertos. Ahora vamos a hacer nada más un repaso de vocabulario. Yes. Gracias, guys. Gracias, gracias. Porque I'm lost. Estoy perdida en el tiempo ahorita. Según yo era eh, miércoles o viernes. Pero es tercera semana. Oh my. Tercera semana, no es segunda. Ok. 
So, questions about that, guys? Questions, no questions, no? Okay, so let's see. We will have a practice, we will have a review and practice today about the unit number two. Um, basically, guys, I try to focus today. I will try to focus today on the topics or the hard topics. I mean, the difficult topics today so we can review them. Okay, so we will do that. All right, and we will practice and practice today about the those complicated topics. So uh, before to start with this review, guys, remember we got a small talk. No sé si se acuerdan que teníamos a small talk practice pendiente para ahora. Lo teníamos en pareja, right? So I don't know if you're already finished, guys. I don't know, remember. I don't know if you're already finished, guys. <laughs> sí, sí, o oh, les doy más tiempo para que terminen el small talk. Recuérdense que este, el small talk, era de ver de qué manera ustedes iban a empezar una conversación. ¿Ok? Bien corta. No sé, I don't know if you remember, it was ah, the last sí, activity. Dice, a mí me toca con Mr. Jaime. Ok, <laughs> guys. Miren, lo único que yo realmente no recuerdo cuáles eran las parejas y no tomé la fotito. Sorry, de las parejas. So, háganme el favor y me van diciendo. Ahorita está acá, miren. No sé si para que se recuerden, estábamos en los small talk, que era este. Miren, wait a minute. Just one moment. What is it? Yes. Probably a two minutes conversation introducing yourself. No, it's not that one, right? Sorry. It's not that one, guys. I don't remember where is it. Oh, yes, it's this one. Prepare a short conversation like the one in the model. Use different topics to initiate a small talk. Ustedes podían iniciar una conversación con esos temas, hablando de location, company, politics, common events, travel, money, etc. Y ustedes incluso podían, podían tener uno, ¿verdad? Podían agregar uno. So, did you finish or do you need five more minutes, guys? ¿Necesitan cinco minutos más o ya finalizaron para que los empiecen a hacer? Ready, right? Ready? Okay, let's see who wants to start. Sorry, guys. Who wants to start? Marcos wants to start. Thank you, Marcos. You're sí, so good. No, no. Yo nunca le he visto con mascarilla, tiche. Ya me voy mascarilla. a poner uno, ya a ver. <laughs> ok. Eh, I am start with, with Jaime. Ah, ok, mi, let's do it. Mis, 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 no me acuerdo cómo se llamaba la otra señorita. Mis, no me acuerdo. Mr. Avelar, do you remember? Um, I think it's um, Estefania. Jennifer era. Jennifer. Or Janet. Do you remember, guys? Pero, pero, pero sí hicimos, ustedes ya hicimos la conversación, ¿verdad, Mr. Jaime? Mm -hmm. We did it. <laughs> Estefania, guys, it's Estefania, she's here. Okay, Estefania, are you ready? Yes. Okay, come on, guys. <laughs> Let's do it then, okay? Let's do it. Okay, Mr. Jaime, I am a star. Okay, Hello, ready. Mr. Jaime. Hello, Marcos. Mr. Jaime, where is the conference? Hey, Mr. Marco, welcome. The conference is in the second floor. Excuse me. In this, uh, 
Is here the conference? Yes, it's here. It start in the in the few a minute. Thank you, Marcos. <laughs> <laughs> Don't right? <laughs> Thank you guys. All right. Yo me recuerdo que habíamos hecho una conversación algo larga, pero qué corto lo sentí. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, so who's the next person, Mr. Cortez? Next. Um, next. Sabrina, are you ready? <laughs> so kind, I'm sure right? that is the revenge, really, Jaime. <laughs> ah, okay, I got it, I got it. Okay. <laughs> le pregunta, ¿verdad? Are you ready? Le dice, are you ready? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes, I'm ready. With Zulma, Zulma. Hi. Eh, the SN is the S. Is the next, and um, Suma is in at work, is at work, and I'm coming late to work. And I say that. Wow, the traffic is terrible. Really? It's because for the hours. I hope the traffic is better in the afternoon. And advice take taxi because it's Friday. You're right, thanks. You're welcome. Great. <laughs> Round of applause for you guys. Girls, do you do you do you see the taxi that I put just before you said taxi? <laughs> I, I mean I put an emoji as a reaction, like it was a tax, it was a taxi. It was an emoji as a taxi. And, and then I you said the word taxi. Yes, I place this. Look at it. Puse este. Y antes que dijeran taxi. <laughs> okay, thank you, girls. Okay. Um, Jarixa, could you please choose another person? Let me see. Rosalia. All right, Rose. Thank you, Rose. Rose, you look so tired today. It's yes, Monday, it's right? <laughs> I Mondays are difficult. <laughs> but let's do it. You can do it, Rose. You can do it. <laughs> Who's your partner? Um, Ismael. Ismael. Hello, Ismael. Hello, hello. Okay. <laughs> ah, really? <laughs> No, you didn't do that? No? No, teacher. Guys. Okay, choose another person. <laughs> choose another another prayer. Guys. Uh, my phone. Uh, Angela? She already passed. Ángel Estefania already passed. Francisco? Francisco was not here. In that class. No estaba acá, sorry. Another José. one. José? Nelson. Okay, Nelson, who's your partner, Nelson? Yes, eh, ¿cómo se llama la compañera? Quiero Patricia? buscarlo. Decir... Patricia, I believe. Patricia. 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 I remember exact, you. Uh, exactly. Mm. Teacher, mm, nuestro tópico fue el de that your dog requires a lot of fiber. Okay, great. Thank you. Let's do it. Replis, ¿cómo llama? Repítame, please. Repeat, okay. Does your dog require a lot of flavor. 
no, uh, my my function does not allow me to travel. I am I am into what I have checking inventories. Um, Patricia, uh, are you making good money in your home? No, uh, I am employed. My job is in control quality laboratory. I am manager, quality manager. Is employer, no, 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 Great, thank you guys. A round of applause for you. Okay, let's see, Patricia, who's next? Um, Linda. Oh, Linda didn't prepare that conversation. Another, another, another uh, person or another poor? My partner, Patricia. Patricia, Patricia, who's your partner? Okay, let's do it, girls. Hello, Patricia. How's it going? Uh, hello, Lucy. Este... Ay, do you do you do you do you, do you like outdoor activities? Yes, I enjoy a lot uh, outdoor activities. And do you enjoy it? Uh, yes, yeah, I am enjoy. Uh, I like to walk in the park and ride bicycles. And um, what do you like to, to do? I enjoy walking the my little dog. Okay, este, it is a pleasure to greet. See you soon. Thank you, Patricia. See you soon. Bye, Lucy. Bye. Wow, great. Thank you a lot. You did an amazing job. Good job. Okay, who's the next one? Lucy, could you please choose another person? Yes, uh, Melly, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, but uh, I'm alone because I can uh, read. Oh, okay, okay, Bye. let's see. But if it's just, I'm sorry, couldn't hear that, Melissa. Could you please repeat? But if you like, I can stay the conversation. That would be awesome, yes. If you feel comfortable, let's do it, Melissa. Okay? Great. Okay, listen to listen to her guys. Hi Luis, how are you? Luis. Hi, Jessica, I'm funny. You? Me, I'm very well. I found a new job. Luis say, is your company near to home? Me, yes, it's near. Luis say, do you want to job? Me, yes, I do. I like work. Luis say, really? It's good work. See you later, Melissa. Me, see you later, Luis. Wow, <laughs> Melissa, thank you. <laughs> Good job. Wow, thank you. Thank you a lot. Thank you. Okay, choose another person, Melissa. Sabrina? Ya pasó, Sabrina? Sí. Yes. Sí. Thank you. Who's me? For thinking me, pero ya pasé. <laughs> Who's missing, by the way? Fatima, Martin. right? I have a Martin. 
Yes. I believe Fatima is missing. Hello. Hello, Fatima. Are you ready with the conversation with the um, small talk, the one that we were practicing last time on, fr on Friday, the last activity? Milton también is missing. Fatima se acuerda de la actividad esa. I don't know if you're ready, Fatima or Milton. No, no, teacher. No? No, no. Milton, are you ready? No. Who else uh, is ready? Donde seamos parejas, no. Ajá, ajá, exacto. Donde estamos haciendo una oración. Sorry, it's not, it's not a sentence. A conversation about a small talk. How do, how do you begin with a conversation? ¿Cómo se comienza una conversación? No sé si se acuerda. Christian yes. is missing as well, right? Christian? Hello. Christian, you're missing, right? I sorry because I have a problem with uh with my family, but it's okay, it's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Are you ready or no? Later on. Who's who was your partner? Le leí los labios y decía no me acuerdo. No sé si se lo leí. I don't remember who is my partner. You don't remember? Oh my God. Do you remember, guys? No. I don't remember. I don't remember. No? Anyone else, guys? Alguien más? No? Okay, don't worry, guys. So let's see. We will have a review then about the past tense, okay? Vamos a hacer un review del past tense ahorita, guys. Ya que pues esta es la última clase que vamos a ver el, el, este tiempo, el pasado, simple past. So let's see, guys. I just want to ask you, uh, guys, I know this has been, I believe this has been a little bit easy for you, but Okay, let's go ahead and practice all of it, okay? So remember, guys, whenever we're talking about simple past, we talk about past like uh, not, I mean, even though we're talking about 8.32 p.m., okay? Aunque sea un minuto que haya pasado, but we're talking about past. Algo que ya pasó, all right? It's done already, an action that is done, okay? La mayoría de casos para utilizar, un simple, para utilizar oraciones de simple past siempre utilizamos eh, on those cases time phrases, all right? Like last time, in the morning, one year ago, yesterday. Siempre utilizamos esas frases de tiempo, guys. And remember that we have two types of verbs, regular and irregular, okay? La mayoría de eso se define y lo utilizamos cuando estamos hablando en oraciones afirmativas, ¿ok? Ya que pues en las negativas y en las preguntas no utilizamos ese tipo de conjugación, solamente en las afirmativas, ¿ok? The ED ending is for regular verbs, ¿ok? Cuando el verbo termina en ED. Más que todos son con los verbos irregulares, sorry. Y los verbos irregulares son cuando cambia completamente la forma del verbo. Les mandé una lista, recuérdense de los verbos regulares o irregulares. Se la volví a reenviar la vez pasada para que ustedes los tengan. De igual manera, este día, guys, yo les voy a enseñar cómo poder transformar un verbo Ok, en base form, en base forma a un pasado con el verbo regular. Today, ok. Les traje material para aprender a cómo hacerlo si en algún momento no tienen disposición de esa lista que les mandé. So, just to reconfirm, the formula for affirmative statement in the simple past is subject plus verb. This verb should be in the sound, ok. Sorry, ED ending, ED, 
Okay, ver, ed, plus complement, okay? Bueno, guys, realmente acá no le voy a poner ed porque no todas las veces va a terminar en ed. Tiene que ser acá ya sea regular o irregular verb, okay? Regular or irregular, por eso no le puse la ed. So, example, I worked at the hospital one year ago, okay? She went to the port in the morning and we studied English last night. Those actions are in past, okay? They finished already, okay? Let's see. Um, wow, who wants to give me an example in past? Uh, in past tense, in the affirmative. Who wants to give me an example? Uh, Melissa, do you want me? Do you want? Do you want me to give you? I mean, do you want to have an example, please? Melissa. Yes, yes, teacher. I. Thank you. I eaten. I ate. I ate. I Mm -hmm. I ate. That's an irregular. Este es un verbo irregular. I ate. I ate. My dinner. My dinner at 6 p.m. I ate my dinner at 6 p.m. Yes, at 6 p.m. Because 6 p.m. already passed. Ahorita son las 8.36. Good job, Melissa. Very good. Okay, let's see. Lucy, do you want to give me an example? Would you like to give me an example, Lucy? Yes, um, I work in, I work every day. Mm, okay, esa oración la hacemos, es más como de hábito, right? Yo trabajo okay. todos los días. So let's try to place a time expression, okay? Time expression que, que sea de pasado. Porque okay. every day más que todo para presente, ¿verdad? Porque yes. una repeated action. Okay. I worked... I worked last Saturday. Ajá, uh -huh. I worked last Saturday. Probablemente Lucy no trabaja los sábados, pero last Saturday le tocó trabajar. All right? Thank you, Lucy. Good job. All right, Ismael, could you provide me an example? Could you give me an example, please, in affirmative form? I am what? Want? De querer? What? What? No. Pasado sería. I was. Estaba. Estaba. Ah, ok. Entonces ese Ismael sería el verb to be. Ok. Ahora lo vamos a hacer en pasado. Pasado simple. ¿Sí? Yo sería. I am. Ese es el verbo to be. Ajá. Entonces sería ya, ¿verdad? Ajá, I. Solamente I. Y luego le agrega un verbo en pasado. Sai, ver, en pasado, simple. Ah, ok, sería, va, very good, Ismael. Entonces ahí, en vez de irse para la tercera columna, váyase para la segunda. No sé si tiene la lista ahí. Ajá. Vaya, váyase para la segunda línea y ahí esa línea es la que usted va a utilizar para pasado. Entonces, ¿cuál sería? I. Vaya, sí. Deletréeme la, el segundo verbo. Es que yo tengo otra lista, teacher. No tengo la que usted mandó. Ah, no importa. It's ok. Pero entonces le aparecen tres verbos, ¿verdad? El ah, base sal, form. Sal. Very good. Sal. I saw. Ok, I so, saw. Uh -huh, so. Estos son los verbos de la segunda línea que usted va a utilizar para pasar. Ok. Ok, okay. I saw, Ismael. I saw. I know. The I saw party. I saw a party. Yo estaba viendo, no, 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 es que me quedé, me quedé. Yo estaba viendo televisión. Oh, okay. So in this case, we use watch. Para ver televisión, utilizamos el watch. Oh. Watch. Uh -huh. Hagamos ese de so. Algo más que pudo ver usted. I saw. I saw, I saw play soccer. No, 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 no. El, el partido. Oh, ok. Buen ejemplo, guys. Guys, uh -huh. the difference, la diferencia entre sí, ok, este es en presente, y watch, 
es que el sí es cuando ustedes ven, ¿verdad? Ven, ven ah. algo, pero watch es cuando ustedes ven algo, ya sea por televisión o ustedes se quedan por más tiempo viendo algo, ¿ok? En cambio, sí es cuando ustedes ven pero hasta ahí, o sea, la acción es súper rápida, pero watch es cuando ustedes ven una transmisión, ya sea por televisión, por computadora o por su teléfono, entonces se utiliza el watch. ¿Yes? Entonces ahí tal vez sería el watch, utilicemos el watch. ¿Ok, Ismael? Entonces acá solamente le agregamos ¿qué? Ismael, ¿para hacerlo en pasado? Bueno, tiene que tener el, el watch, porque está viendo por televisión. Ah, pero en pasado. ¿Cómo, ¿Qué es lo que me falta el verbo ahí? ¿Qué le hace falta? El watch, watch, el watch, no. No, porque acuérdese que la fórmula de simple past solamente es sujeto y verbo, ¿ok? Sujeto y verbo. El verbo es, be, uh, el verbo es en pasado, sorry. Si, si no dijera verb to be. Así que el verb to be no lo agregamos, sino que se agregamos los verbos que están en pasado. Y si usted no se sabe el verbo pasado, puede buscarlo en la lista que usted tiene. ¿Sí? Y perdí. ahora, sorry, go ahead. ¿Qué me dijo Ismael? Sorry. Me perdí, teacher. No se preocupe. <clears throat> Vaya, guys. Remember, whenever we're making, cuando estamos haciendo una oración en afirmativo del simple present, ese lleva sujeto, luego lleva el verbo, pero el verbo tiene que ser en pasado, ¿ok? El día de ahora yo les voy a enseñar cómo, cómo hacer, cómo crear de los verbos en base form, en base forma, a ponerles la ED. Les voy a enseñar las, lo que son las reglas. Más sin embargo, estas reglas aplican para verbos regulares porque tenemos dos tipos de verbos para el pasado en affirmative sentences. Tenemos los irregulares y los regulares. Los irregulares cambian completamente su forma y los regulares solamente se le agrega la ED, Ismael. Entonces, para nosotros hacer un verbo en pasado, si este, este verbo ya verificamos que es un verbo regular, entonces le vamos a poner la ED y con eso lo hacemos en pasado, ¿ok? Acuérdese que si yo pongo I watch TV, eso está en presente. Yo digo, yo miro televisión. Pero si yo digo I watch TV yesterday, yo lo digo ya en pasado. Yo vi televisión ayer. Entonces el día de, eh, el día de ahora estamos haciendo un review del Simple Past que es cuando la acción ya finalizó, ¿sí? Y usted va a hacer este verbo, va a formar el verbo agregándole de si tenemos una, un verbo regular y si tenemos un verbo irregular cambia completamente la forma. Como usted vio, tenemos sí, que es el presente, ¿ok? En la lista y tenemos so, ¿ok? Que sería el verbo que cambia completamente. Ya no le agregamos la ED ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso, acá, si ya pusimos el subject y el verbo, solo nos falta el complemento. ¿Y cuál es el complemento? TV yesterday. ¿Ok? Guys, questions about this? No questions? Thank you, Ismael. Thank you a lot. Guys, no questions? No questions about affirmative statements? Si tienen preguntas, háganla, guys. ¿Ok? Please. No questions? No? Okay, so let's go to the negative statements. Okay, nos vamos a ir para los, las oraciones negativas en pasado, guys. Acá va a ser lo mismo, casi lo mismo. La única diferencia es de que acuérdense que acá ya el verbo ya no se va a conjugar. Acá el verbo lo vamos a utilizar en base forma, ok? Lo único que vamos a hacer para hacer oración negativa, si por ejemplo ayer dije, ayer vi televisión, ahora voy a decir ayer no vi televisión. In English it will be, I did not watch TV yesterday. ¿Ok? Pero el verbo ya no le voy a agregar la ED ni ya no va a ser diferente, sino que acá va a ser en base forma. ¿Ok? Antes de la base forma, lo que yo le voy a poner, guys, va a ser 
el did not o el didn't, ¿ok? Para hacerlo negativo. Si yo no le pongo esto, no, si, imagínense que yo no le pongo esto, guys. ¿Qué dice acá? I played soccer yesterday. ¿Qué yo dice? Fútbol. Yo juego, ¿verdad? Yo juego uh -huh. fútbol ayer. Oh my God, right? Entonces, it doesn't make sense. O usted lo pone con la ED para hacerlo afirmativo, acá, o usted lo hace en negativo. ¿Y cómo lo va a hacer negativo? Solamente le va a agregar didn't o did not antes del verbo en base forma. So I said, I didn't play soccer yesterday. Okay? I didn't work at the hospital one year ago. She didn't go to the board in the morning. We didn't study English last night. Okay? Nelson, could you please give me an example, Nelson, of this uh, a structure? Um, we didn't rent a car. We didn't drive. Drive? Rent, rent a car. Oh, rent. rent a car. Sorry. We didn't rent a car. Very good, Nelson. Amazing. Okay. Good job. Uh, Luis, could you please give me an example in negative form? Perdón, teacher. <laughs> uh, One example in negative form. Acá está la, acá está el, 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 la, la fórmula. Guys, ustedes cada vez que digan, oh my God, ¿cómo se hace eso? Busquen la fórmula, guys. Busquen las fórmulas y ahí está todo. ¿Qué va a decir? Subject. Did not or didn't, bird and complement. ¿Sí? Puede seguir uno de los ejemplos que está abajo. Ok. Eh, you didn't. Eh, eat potatoes. Ajá. Uh -huh. You didn't eat potatoes. <laughs> Pongámosle un time expression. Time expression significa una frase de tiempo. Time expression para que haga más sense, para que haga más sentido. You didn't eat potato cuando? When? The last lunch. Very good. I didn't, I mean, you didn't eat potato last lunch. Very good. Good job. Okay. Let's see uh, the last one. Jaime, could you please give me an example in negative form? Uh, I didn't watch TV last week. Very good. I didn't watch TV last week. Watch TV. Very good. It's okay, true. guys. <laughs> All right. So questions about the negative form, guys? Questions? No questions? Good. No good, teacher. No, teacher. I don't get it. Yes, teacher. No? Okay. So let's go to the yes, no question. Yes, no question. Guys. So acá solamente es un juego de palabras, right? El did ahora, en el negativo lo teníamos antes del verbo, ¿verdad? Ahora lo tenemos adelante. Lo pasamos adelante. ¿Ok? Y después le sigue el subject y el verb. Acá otra vez, guys, el verbo es in base form. No le vamos a agregar la ed, ¿ok? No id, no id ending. ¿Ok? Acá sería en base form, play. Y luego el complemento y luego el question mark. For example, did you play soccer yesterday? Did you play soccer yesterday? ¿Ok? Yes, you did. No, you didn't. All right. Did I work at the hospital one year ago? No, you didn't. Did she go to the park in the morning? Yes, she did. All right. Did they study last night? No, they didn't. They didn't study, all right. No, they didn't. And those are called short answers. Esos son llamadas los short answers, porque solamente usted, como es una yes no question o pregunta cerrada, usted va a responder shortly, ¿ok? No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Yes, we did. 
No, we didn't. Okay. And so on. Let's see. Patricia Eugenia, could you please ask a question to Christian? Patricia, could you please ask a yes, no question using the structure to Christian? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Christian, did I dance at the party last night? Christian? Christian. Hello, hello, Christian. Very good, Patricia. Wonderful job. Wow, you don't remember. <laughs> uh, Patricia, Eugenia, but let's see. No, you didn't. You didn't dance. Thank you, Patricia. Okay, thank you. Jarixa, could you please? Okay, Jarixa, could you please ask a question to Patricia Carolina? Okay. Did your did you clean your house yesterday? Mm, yes, I did. I did clean my house. Yes, Patricia, solamente okay. puede decir yes, I did. It's okay, no se preocupe. Okay. Very good, Patricia. Very yes, good, Jerixa. Good job. All right, let's see. Then, uh, Marcos, sorry, Marcos, could you, please, could you please ask a question to Milton? Marcos? So, did you work yesterday? Milton, did you work yesterday, Milton? Repeat, Marcos. Did you work yesterday? Yes, I did. Very ah. good. Why did you doubt, Milton? <laughs> okay. But yesterday was Sunday. <laughs> I worked it. I worked. I worked. <laughs> <laughs> It was just an example by saying Milton. Okay, yeah. guys, very good. Guys, do you happen to have any question about these preguntas? No? No? Yes, teacher, no? Teacher. Okay. Yes, go for it, Sabrina. Go. Is, is necessary always to write a frequency time, time expression? Oh. Time necessary. expression. No. Not really. Not really. Pero uh, sometimes, Sabrina, it doesn't make sense cuando lo dice. No hace sentido. Entonces, sí, como que necesita, ¿verdad? Pero en algunas, no. En algunas, usted solamente lo dice. Yeah. All right. So, it depends. It depends on the context. It depends on what you want to say. All right. So, it's not necessary, 100% necessary, but. Whenever you say time expression, you go specifically to one situation or to one to a time. So it's, it's better. It's understandable. It's more understandable, but it's not necessary. Okay. And it depends on the context. It depends on you. All right. All right. So any other question? Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you for asking. Another question? No question? No? Okay, guys, let's go to the next activity. All right, now let's practice. Open your course book and complete one exercise on the page 28. Okay, vamos a completar un ejercicio ahorita on the page 28. And this exercise is about making sentences. Sentences or questions. All right, page 28. Here, here you have it. Exercise number four, Page 28, oh my God, what's going on with my tongue today? Okay, what we will do right now is uh, that we will order the words to create positive, negative, or interrogative statements in the simple past. So we have some um, disorganized words here. We will scramble the sentence, we will organize them, making uh, either a sentence or a question. It depends. 
For example, in the number one, I can see a question mark. So that's a question, of course, right? In the number two, I don't see a question mark. So it's not going to be a question, okay? So puede ser una, pregu una pregunta, guys. Puede ser una negative statement or positive statement. What you need to do is to organize it. Order the words and make it make it make sense with the sentence you will write down. Okay. So is that understandable? Is that clear, guys? What we will do right now? Questions? No questions? Guys, tienen preguntas de los que vamos a hacer ahorita? No. No, teacher. Solo vamos a ordenar este la clase, ¿no? Exactly, la oración o pregunta, dependiendo, ¿ok? Dependiendo de qué es lo que tengo en el contexto, ¿all right? Ahorita le voy a mandar una foto para que usted la tenga de lo que estamos haciendo ahorita, guys. Ok, I send it to you on the group. So, let's have right now, guys, uh, 10 minutes to do it, 10 minutes. And while you do it, let me go through the attendance, please. Okay, mientras lo hacen, voy a pasar la attendance. Ustedes tienen 10 minutos para hacerlo. All right. Um, um, if you have a question, let me know, guys, please. De let me know. Si tienen preguntas, feel free to ask. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Selina Margarita Ramírez de Chávez. Eric Mauricio Renderos Tomafino. Francisco Eduardo Larín Pineda. Francisco Eduardo Larín Pineda. Present teacher. Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present teacher. Linda Magali García Montoya. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Present. Ok. Uh, Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar. Present teacher. Pérez, sorry. Milton Hernández Sola. Present teacher. Patricia Carolina Rodríguez Herrera. Present. Rosa Acalia Conrado Quijada. Present. Sabrina Lisset García Orellana. Present. Jessica Melissa Oya Cisneros. Present. Zulma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Glenda Marisela Cuellar Martínez. Fátima Xiomara Palacios Navarro. Present. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Present. Thank you, guys. Okay, uh, so let's continue. I believe we have uh, six more minutes. Six more minutes, guys. No, seven more minutes, okay? So let's continue, guys. I will ask you to give me one minute, please. Just one minute. I'll be back in one minute. Thank you, guys. Thank you for understanding. Thank you. 
Hello, hello guys. Thank you for your time. Did you finish? Hello. Hello. No, do you need more time? Sorry guys, I get a problem with my mouse right now. Guys? I I I what about the other ones? Do the mad guys? Guys, come on, did you finish? Almost. Okay. Guys, sorry, but I have a problem with my mouse right now. It's not moving. One second. I don't know what's going on. Just one moment, guys. Two more minutes to finish, okay? Okay, guys, so time is over, all right? Sorry, but I couldn't turn on the camera and my mouse was not working. Okay, so let's see. One moment, guys. Guys, me avisan si me escuchan bien, ok? De la manera que vamos a trabajar ahorita. Just one moment, because it's not working. Guys, do you hear me? Me escuchan bien. Muy o no me escuchan bien. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Before, okay, si no se escucha bien me llegan a decir, okay? Pero I don't know what's going on with the mouse. So I'm trying to get another one here. Okay, so guys, we will complete the exercises from the one until the number five, okay? Let's see. Let's see the number one. Who wants to help me with the number one? Mm -hmm. okay. Did you Do enjoy, did the, you training? enjoy the, training? the training? Wow, great job. Did you enjoy the training? Oh, but it's missing here the ED, right? Yes? Yes. Oh, okay. Training. No, because this question. No, the no? is uh, don't enjoy. But Marcus told me it was missing. It's the base. Okay. Oh. 
kasi. No ED, right? No ED. Base form, right? Okay, let's go to the next one. Number two. What is the number two? How, how do I make it? The manager didn't. And the, so, in the seminar. seminar. The manager? Yes. Didn't then attend. Oh, what's going on? Guys, I don't know what's going on with my computer. It's not even okay. Here, it, here I have the many manager didn't didn't they attend seminar attend attend seminar. attend seminar attend the seminar that's the seminar. it. Okay. Is it like that? What is making? Video. Video? Video. No? Video maybe? Video. No? Video. Okay. So the manager didn't attend the seminar. Very good. Number three. What will be number three, guys? I, I think the personnel update their monthly certification. The personal? Update. Yes. Their personal updated. Uh huh. Their 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 maintenance certificate. Maintenance. 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 Uh huh. Maintenance. Certification. Certification. Certification, right? Certifications. Is that is that okay, guys? The person. Um, I don't know. Pers personal or personnel? Personnel. I think, personnel I think is, Excuse me. I think is the ma the maintenance personnel updated the certification. I think too. Oh, no, no. the maintenance person updated their me, me too. Me too. <laughs> um, the maintenance is the, is then right? The maintenance person personnel, right? The maintenance personnel updated their certification, yes? Yes, teacher. Certifications. Very good. All right, very good. Number three, guys. I mean, number four. What will be that it's number four? Supervisor. Okay, the supervisor. Be the supervisor. Be the supervisor. Exchange oh, okay. business Be card. Be the supervisor. Exchange. Exchange. Business card. Business cards. Yes. What a okay. Is it like that? No. Yes. All right. What about the number five? Let's go to the number five. My workmates didn't at network convention. Excuse me, what was it again? The workmates. The workmates? The workmates didn't. Huh? Didn't? <sighs> didn't? My network, my network convention. Network? My? Convention. Yes. Know. Is it like that or what is missing, guys? At. 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 at work work. Before my at. convention. Yes. I think it my workmates did a network at the convention. Okay. 
Oh, okay. My workmates, right? My workmates. My workmates didn't network at the convention. Okay. <laughs> Yes, very good, guys. Good job. All right, all right. Very good, very good. Okay, so how do you feel making those exercises? Was it easy, difficult, guys? Or what do you think? Difficult, easy? No? So, so, okay. Guys, let me stop sharing here. Let me stop sharing and let me share the presentation again. All right, so guys, do me a favor. One moment. Wow, it's not working. Wow, what's going on? Okay, okay, one moment. Okay, guys, do me a favor and let's go to the page 26, okay? Go to the page 26, 27 and 28. We will complete that, but let's start with the 26, okay? Let's go to the 20s. Oh, my God, what am I doing? <clears throat> it's here, okay? Page 26, page 26. Um, we have a reading here on the page 26, guys. Let me make it smaller. Okay, we got a reading, and this reading is an article about Miss Tate's Mrs. Tate's networking experience. Discuss, let's discuss if the question below are true or false and correct the false sentence. Okay, so your job here, guys, is to read this, to read it. And then um, said if this is true or false, and if we, if it is false, correct it. Si es false, correct it. Okay, corregirlo si es falso. ¿Cuál es la verdadera sentence ahí? So let's read it. Let's have five minutes to read it. Five minutes, guys. Cinco minutos para leerlo, and then we will answer those yes, no yes no statements okay one second okay there you go let's read it all all right let's read it all and then answer this five minutes guys five minutes to read it.
Okay, guys, so let's have five more minutes to complete those experiments, okay? Then from number one to five to complete if they are true or false. Let's have right now five more minutes, okay? Five more minutes to complete this, okay? And then we will review it together, all right? Five more minutes. Guys, did you finish? Yes?
Luis, Yarexa, Patricia, Estefanía, Rosa, Glenda. Glenda, solamente me ayuda a poner todo su nombre, please. Finish, no. Okay, let's see. Fatima, Fatima. Uh, we will go ahead and start reading this, guys. Vamos a empezar a leer todos. Okay, once you finish, Fatima, you can read a sentence if you want. And once you finish, you say popcorn and then you say the next person's name. Okay? For example, I will start and then I will mention you, Patricia. Then you mention another person, but before saying the name, you say popcorn. Okay? <clears throat> so let me start. Uh, last week, I had lunch with Allison, a new member of my network contacts, Popcorn Fatima. Fatima, then you start, then you go. <clears throat> Continue, teacher. We, yes, Fatima, and then you mention another name and you say popcorn and then the other name. Okay, we sang each other at this seminar over the past years, but we really did not know each other very well. Next, Jaime. <laughs> I said a while last year, I will have one on one networking meeting with at the last five new contact this year. Of course, Jessica. My fifth contact meeting was Allison. Our meeting was so rewarding that I want to share. Lucy? Hello. I'm sorry, what's the number? Yes, it's uh, during lunch, Allison, you continue reading and then you say popcorn and then you say the name of another person. Okay. We will continue reading. During, during lunch, Allison mentioned that she was shy by nature. In the past, she said she worried a lot before going to large networking events. Popcorn, and then you mentioned another name. Um, popcorn, Marcos. Marcos. Go for it, Marcos. I feel surprised because she trusted me that feeling I go to know more about her, the industry. She works in uh, about her expect, ex, expectation for the future. Popcorn. In Christian. Christian is not here. Glenda, me podría ayudar a poner todo su nombre, por favor. Okay, another name, and um, Marcos, mention another name, please. Uh, Mr. Nelson. Nelson, go for it. Yes. I, I need more than a new contact. I pass from a small tal to a small tal. Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton. 
Mr. Laring. Kofi, Mr. Laring. Wow, they are not here. Next. Luis, could you please help us, Luis? Thank you, Nelson. Okay. Here is my advice to you. When you attend business event, do you ah, perdón, do not just uh, go and discuss business problem and solution. Sorry, uh, for Sabrina. Thank you. Try to get to know at least three new people by sharing a one-on-one -on -one networking coffee, lunch, or dinner. Popcorn to Angela Estefania. Mm -hmm. Angela Estefania. Okay, Rosa, could you please help us, Rosa? ¿En qué esta parte se quedó ella? Uh, there are several benefits of this practice, right? There are several benefits of this practice. You expand your contact, improve your networking skills, and you will make full connection with people in the industry. Very good. Okay, uh, Rosa, could you please mention another person? So we'll start with the number one, with the sentence number one. Fatima? Fatima, could you please help us to read the, the sentence so everyone will participate to answer it? De nuevo, voy a leer. No entendí. Yes, it's okay, Fatima, sorry. Okay. Por dónde Alice se quedó? Benedictus, here. Okay, one. Alison mm -hmm. and Mr. Tate say each other for the first time last week. Is it true or false, guys? False. Is it true or false? False. 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 Sure. Okay, what yes. is the correct one? What is it's the correct true. one? It's true. true? So each um, Alison and his state. So each body of the uh, less. True or false? Yes. It's true. Right. Alison false. mentioned that she was shy by nothing. Okay. Was Alison a new member of the network contact? It's true. No? Sabrina, what do you think? Patricia? <coughs> False. False? False. Uh -huh. Patricia? False. Okay. Luis? Ismael, Lucy, what do you think? Melissa? True or false? True. True? False. Okay, guys, listen to that. It says, uh, Allison and Mrs. Tate saw each other for the, for the first, um, for the first time last week. Okay, it says here, last week, who's talking by the way? Miss State, right? So it says last week I had lunch with Allison. 
withdrew. But teacher, when it's teacher. Yes. Yes. It, when say for the first time, quiere decir que se vieron la primera vez. Yeah. Por primera yeah. vez. Yes. Yes. It says for Entonces, first. Primera entonces, vez. False. Entonces he falls porque in the paragraph say that they he saw each other. Three seminars three over seminars. the past year. Okay. So it says I had lunch with Alice and a new member of my network of contacts. Network contacts, we saw each other at three seminars over the past year, but we really did not know each other. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. She's talking mm -hmm. about uh last year. Okay. Si comparamos last year con last week, obviamente gana last year, right? So it's false, yeah. guys. Sure. False. Very good. Okay. Good job. True. True or false? <laughs> oh, okay, oh, Fatima, oh. choose the next person, please. Fatima? And um, Luis. Luis. <laughs> okay, number two, Luis. Miss Tate said a uh, networking go out for this year. Mm -hmm. True or false, guys? False. True. False. False. False or true? False. False. Guys, what do you think? <coughs> true. True? False. False. Oh my God. <laughs> what is the right one then? Uh -huh. Ok, si es false, ¿cuál es, la verdad? ¿cuál es la que es correcta? Si es false. ¿Cuál es la correcta, then? I see that going last year. This year, no este año. No, it's true. True, uh -huh. ¿Ah? It's true. It's true? False. Ok, si es falsa, guys, ¿dónde está la correcta? Could you please correct the number two? I say last year. I said God, last year. <laughs> so it's, it's false. Uh -huh. <laughs> share with us, share with us, Sabrina. Yes. Uh, false. It's false. Uh -huh. Why? Because um say working networking wall for this year and the paragraph say it said a goal last year. Very good last year, right? So it is false, right? <coughs> Very good, tricky, right, guys? It's tricky. <laughs> okay, so it's false. Let me get a second. All right. So what about number three? Uh, let's see. Luis, choose another person to read the pattern. I mean, the sentence, number three. Um, Jessica Melissa. I'm here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alison Vessel. She hated networking events. Alison confessed she hated networking events. Is that true or false? Thank you, Lucy. False? In that, I'm not sure because say that he hates the large networking events. What do you think, guys? I don't know what. <laughs> I think it's false. He, he think is worried a lot, true. but not hate. Me. True. She's worried, but not hate her. Yes. Okay. If it is false, what would be the what would be the correction? Si es falso, cuál va a ser la corrección? 
He hates only the large networking events. Mm -hmm. The large networking she's, events, she's, right? She's worried. She's worried. She's worried. No, no, nada más, guys. A lot before going to large networking events because she was shy. Mm -hmm. Okay? She was shy. Uh, but she doesn't hate that. I believe she doesn't hate. What do you think? She's worried. So it's false She's or worried. true? It's false. False. <laughs> false. Okay. Wow, all of them are false. Okay, that's that's weird. Number four. <laughs> Uh, Lucy, could you please choose another person to read the number four? <laughs> Teacher, I say the number three, Melissa. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> so what's to participate I, then? I choose Nelson. Nelson, go for it, Nelson. Nelson? Number four, teacher. Yes. Would you please read it? My, my um, Miss, no sé cómo se lee ahí, teacher. Miss State. Miss State and uh, Allison. Pa, ¿Cómo se lee ahí? Pass. 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 Pass, pass from a small. Tal to a small. Tal do, during lunch. Okay, is that true or false, guys? That's true. Es cierto. True, quiero decir. True, true, guys. True. Yes. True? I am sure. True. Okay, great. Okay, number five. Nelson, choose another person. Um, ¿Quién anda por ahí despierto? Quiero ver. <laughs> Todos estamos dormidos. Sí, ahora estoy uh -huh. bien. Estoy... Marquito, ma, ma, Marcos me está escondiendo por ahí, Mr. Marcos. Marcos, Marcos, don, don, don be shy. Ay, no. Levantate, Marquito. Don't be shy, ¿verdad? like Alison. Number okay. five, Marcos. Number five, miss, mistake, mentioned three benefit of one on one networking meeting. Okay, is that true or false? For me, it's true. True? What do you think, guys? True. Hello. True or false? I don't know, believe it. I said it's true. True. What do you think, teacher? Could you please mention the three benefits? Marcos, could you please mention the three benefits? The three benefits that Mrs. State mentioned. The you expand your contacts, improve Explain your, your contacts, improve your networking skills, and you will man. man how do you okay, say? Okay, you work? expand your contacts, improve your networking skill, and you build meaningful connection with people in the industry. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Jaime. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Marcos. Okay, guys, so here I have it, okay? Here you have it. We have already resolved it, guys. Para mí, este reading está bastante avanzado and you resolved it, so congratulations for you, okay? For all of you. You did an amazing job, guys. You analyze a lot, you read it, and so on. So, guys, um, I want you to please to do me a favor, okay? I want you to please to help me to identify 
Please mention five irregular verbs on the test. Five irregular verbs. Mention. Mention the irregular verbs. Five. Mention. Mention. Said. Said. Okay. Have. Let me see. Oh my God. Said. Have. 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 Okay. So. What else? So. Said. So. Show. So or so. Oh, so. so. Let me see. Oh my God. So. We're easy. Um, could you please Arriba. highlight it? Oh, yeah. We saw. Network contact, we oh, saw. What line is it? What line is it? Second line, we saw. Nine. Oh my yes. God, it was so, so, so near, so close to me. Okay, another one? Oh. Which one? Oh, wait a minute. Two more, two more. Paid in the second part. What? Part. Faced, faced. Never mind, never mind. Never. What number? Now, I go to now. Oh yes, no. Sorry guys, but um, oh my God, I'm lost. No, 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 no. Ahí, ahí, ahí. Up, up, up. Okay. Ooh, okay. One more, one more, guys. One more. Build. Uh huh. But okay, this is good. Good, Sabrina. This is regular. Ahora subrayen los irregulars. Los irregulars, guys. De otro color que no sea rojo, los irregulars. Just there is missing just one irregular, guys. Solamente elijan otro irregular more because they are four. Industry, industry, ah, oh, trusted, trusted, pass, very good. Uh, mention, maybe. Uh, work, okay, pero eso está en presente, el work. <coughs> Worried, very good, okay. Good job, good job, guys. Okay, was, was, okay, that's an irregular. All right, guys, so let me stop sharing. Let me stop sharing, guys, because I do have, I, I brought extra material for you, okay? Let's traje un material extra today. Let me get a second because of the time. I will go to the extra material right now. And tomorrow we will continue with the rest of the, other course books, okay? What, I mean, the other pages of the on the course book. Do you see the script? Yes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, let me see. One second. Okay, so here we have the spelling rules for regular verses. One second, please. Uh, guys, sorry, give me just a second and let me put my headset. <laughs> Hello guys, okay, it's working now. I believe it's working. So I got some spelling rules for regular verse here, okay? So guys, whenever you don't have the list that I already provided you, cuando no tengan la lista que le brinde, guys, ustedes pueden formar lo, los verbos, hacerlos de base form, de base forma, los van a hacer a pasado, pero solamente es los regular verse, okay? So, eh, acá están las reglas para formar un verbo en base forma a un pasado, pero regulares, verbos regulares. Acuérdense que los verbos irregulares son los que no 
los que no tienen eh, fórmula, no tienen reglas, simplemente se los tienen que aprender by heart, ¿verdad? Entonces, esos son los que, las que terminan en ED, los que terminan en ED, ¿ok? So, let's see. The number one, guys, the number one rule says that if the verb ends in E, we just add the E, ¿ok? Si el verbo termina en E, solamente le agregamos la D. For example, arrive, it becomes arrived. Repeat after me, arrived. Arrived. Very good. Arrived. Mild, smiled. Mild. Mild. That's the first rule. Uh, let the second rule, guys, are the verbs ending in consonant plus Y. Okay, lo vemos que terminan en consonante más Y. Okay, we change the Y to the I and we added ED. Okay, le cambiamos la Y por la I y le agregamos la ED. For example, try, tried. Repeat, guys, try. Tried. 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 Okay. Carry, car, carried. Carried. Carry, carried. Very good. Carried. Okay. So remember, whenever it ends with the consonant, acá la consonante es la R. R. And the Y is here. So cada vez que termine en consonante más Y, le cambiamos el uh, Y por el I y le agregamos la I. -D. ¿Ok? Are we good right now? ¿Estamos bien hasta acá? Las dos. Yes, sir. Rules? Yes. Ok. Let me see. Um... Number three, ver ending in vowel plus Y. Solamente le agregamos el, la D, ¿ok? Cuando el verbo, guys, el de base forma va, termina con vocal más Y, ¿ok? En ese caso sería la O, sería la vocal y la Y. Solamente le, le vamos a agregar la E y la D. Aquí le hace falta la E a esto, pero le agregamos la E y la D. Ok. For example, the enjoy pasaría a enjoyed. Solamente le damos la E y la D. Cuando termina en consonante más Y, porque si, te, perdón, cuando termina en vocal más Y, porque si termina en vocal más Y, entonces le ponemos la I. Ok. Pero acá como termina en vocal, entonces solamente le agregamos la E D. ¿Sí? Are we clear on that, guys? Solamente fíjense en la última letra antes de la Y. And that's it. Luego tenemos los verbs ending in consonant, vowel consonant. ¿Ok? Vamos a duplicar la consonante y vamos a agregar la ED. Cuando terminen consonante, vocal consonante. Example. Stop. ¿Ok? Este termina en consonante T vocal o P consonante. Rob, consonant, vowel, consonant. Duplicamos la última consonante y le agregamos la ED. ¿Ok? Eh, guys, do me a favor and try to analyze this and if you have questions, let me know. ¿Tienen preguntitas ahorita? Son four rules. Four rules de cómo formar una, los verbos de presente, ok, uh, base form, a regular verse in past tense. Yes? No questions? Sure? Sure, sure. Guys, let me send to you right now, um, a screenshot about this, ok, al grupo, o le voy a mandar esa imagen. And tomorrow we will continue practicing on that, ok. Esto recuérdense que es algo extra que les traigo, ok. I hope that you uh, really use them so it will be useful for you guys. 
Give me a second now. I'm sending it to you right now. Mañana vamos a seguir practicando de esto, guys. Don't worry. Vamos a hacer un review. Rapid. Give me a second. No, I better send to you a screenshot about this. Ok, guys, ya les mandé la imagen para que lo tengan, ok. Let me go through the attendance list. Sí, hasta ahora la tarea, guys. Hasta ahora el, el examen, el examen midterm, ok. Ayúdenme con el examen midterm. Y terminarlo ahora y las tareas ahora para yo mañana mandar esas notas, guys. Please. El examen midterm y las tareas de toda la semana, please. Questions, guys, tienen preguntas? No questions. Teacher. Yes, Nelson. La, la, eh, hoy, hoy termina esta, esta parte dos, vea, la, en la clase 10 estamos ahorita. Vea. Yes, exactly. Ok, ok, o sea, prácticamente hoy tendríamos que hacer el examen. Sí, el examen midterm y el otro y las otras cinco actividades de la semana. Ok, ok. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Eso básicamente. Uh -huh. Guys, any other question? Otra pregunta? No. Ok, voy a pasar la lista, guys. Me ayudan a encender la cámara, please. Uh, y Marco se queda conmigo, please. Ok, Glenda Marisela Cuellar Martínez. Presentation. Thank you. Fátima Xiomara Palacios Navarro. Patricia Eugenia Navarro de Rosales. Presentation. Zulma Yarixa Oliva Córdoba. Present. Sabrina Lisset García Orellana. Present. Jessica Melisa Oya Cisneros. Present. Ok, guys, a los que ya mencioné, ya se pueden desconectar. Ya son las 10. Muchísimas gracias. I hope you have an amazing night, ok? Take care. Uh, let me continue with the attendance list, guys. Uh, Rosa Calia Corrado Quijada. Present. Patricia Carolina Rodríguez Herrera. Present. Good night. Good night. Milton Hernández Sola. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Uh, Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Present. Good night. Good night, take care. Linda Magali García Montoya. José Nelson Ruiz Moreno. Present. Bye. Good night, bye, teacher. Bye. Antonio Pilar Cortés. And good night. Good night, Ismael Arturo Morán Vázquez. Present. Bye. Francisco Eduardo Larín Pineda. 
Eric Mauricio Renderos Tomasino. Cristian Josué López Pérez. Celina Margarita Ramírez de Chávez. Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Ok, thank you guys. Uh, Fátima, Fátima sí la mencioné, espérame. Fátima no. es una referencia a Navarro, sí, sí la mencioné, pensé que ya se había ido. No. Thank you, Fátima. Good night. Hello, hello, Marcos, how are you? Hello, teacher. Uh, I am very well. Great, perfect. So, Marcos, you have 10 minutes right now to tell me um, if you have any doubt, comments, feedback, um, reinforcement about the class, un refuerzo que necesita de algún tema, alguna habilidad que usted le está costando desarrollar media teacher, mire, de verdad es que me está costando mucho la pronunciación, me está costando la escritura, la gramática, etc. Eh, ¿Cree que no me puede dar un repaso de este tema, etc.? ¿O algún consejo? The stage is yours, Marcos. Dígame. How can I help you? Yes, uh, my my difficult for me is uh, the the pronunciation. Okay. I when I toca leer and the the other teacher, uh, I have a difficult with feel the the activity number seven. Excuse me, what was that again? Um, I have a difficult. I I feel feel is or como se dice llenar. Feeling feeling. Feeling the activity number seven. Which one? Yes. Uh, ¿Cuál? Me, ¿Cuál fue? Um, the activity number seven, the the, the reading, the reading the, part. Ah. And Entonces, reading and pronunciation. Uh, no, no, teacher. Este, como, como le puedo decir, vaya, en español. Ahorita estoy eh, llenando todas las actividades eh, en mí. Entonces, eh, está la actividad 7, la tarea 7, y esa no lo entiendo. Porque aquí dice que lea la información y escriba el proper question. Y luego dice, don't forget to use the auxiliary. Eso me cuesta a mí. Ah, las preguntas de yes, no question. Yes. Déjeme ver, ¿cómo que se la enseño? So, ahí lo que tiene que hacer Marcos es solamente follow the structure, seguir el, la, la fórmula que les he dado. Eso es básicamente, mire, por ejemplo, en yes, no question, dice el auxiliary ver acá es did, ¿verdad? Entonces el did usted lo pasa para enfrente, adelante de la oración y luego ve el sujeto. Léame la indicación de nuevo, ¿Le dame la indicación de nuevo, Marcos? ¿Y ¿Cuál es la indicación, la fórmula? No, la que tiene usted ahí. ¿La que me no, dijo? Sí, sí. Yo, creo, yo, creo, no, yo creo que no me he entendido. Le voy a mostrar aquí de mi Ajá. computadora. Vaya, si es indicación, que me lea. A ver qué es lo que le dice. Dice, the instruction, dice, instruction, real, the information, take a proper question, 
Don't forget to use the auxiliary. For example, here accept the 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 answer. I I put the 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 auxiliary do. Ma, no, y por qué tú si estamos en, en past? Tiene que ser did. Mándeme eh, una, si una, se... una foto o una captura de lo que está haciendo para entenderle mejor. Ok. Pero si en bueno. pasado, recuérdese que did much. Did es el auxiliar, no tú. Tú sería solo en el presente. Ok. Eh, espéreme, tichis. Eh, veamos a dónde está. Aquí. Hello, teacher. ¿Qué le pasó? Ahí se lo mandé a su WhatsApp. Ok, ahorita veo. Yo, lo que yo no entiendo, teacher, porque la última sí me lo agarró y la demás, ¿no? Read the instructions. Ah, ok. Ah, no, no, no. Es que acuérdense que como estábamos viendo las preguntas, la WH question en presente simple, entonces esas son de presente entonces. ¿Ya? Sí. ¿Cuál, ¿Qué dice Don't Forget? ¿Qué dice ahí? Eh, don't Forget the Auxiliar. Por ah, ok. De... Entonces este es de, de, de presente, Marcos. Es en presente las oraciones porque... Eh, yo veo que le pone el do y como vimos el w, la, se parece que uno de los temas que vimos fue wh en presente simple entonces son en presente simple entonces lo que tenemos que hacer es aquí, espérame, le voy a enseñar la fórmula entonces entonces yo estoy escribiendo mal no, la última está bien ya se la va a enseñar Deme un segundo Ah, la última sí. Me tardé una hora para encontrar. Cinco presión informe. Dios mío, ¿cómo así? Pero las otras sí ya. Vaya, mira, aquí está. ¿ve? Solamente tiene que ver la fórmula, Marcos. Come on. ¿Qué es que está pasando? Vaya, mire, solamente la fórmula tiene que ir viendo. Acá está, miren. Vaya, acá está la fórmula de cómo se hace. Usted ahí mande todas estas diapositivas al grupo. WH más do and does más auxiliar. Bueno, ese es el auxiliar verbo. Más sujeto, más verbo, más complemento. ¿Vale? Por ejemplo, Entonces, ¿cómo lo vamos a hacer ahí? Auxiliar, ahí es el do y es el das, ¿verdad? Pero el WH, exacto, el WH va antes, antes de eso. Ah, pues ahí tengo problemas, teacher. Y ese es de la Vaya, clase. Vaya, número, quiero ver. De la clase. De la clase. Quiero mandar las presentaciones. En la número uno. What this machine do? What. Yo, y ahora, ¿qué le va a poner? El auxiliar. Ajá, es que yo eso fue lo que puse, teacher. Uh -huh. Pero ponerlo con, con mayúscula, la W. Sí, claro. ¿Verdad? Claro, vale. Ajá, aquí dice, what this. Ah, después. What? No, mire la fórmula, no estamos viendo la fórmula, ¿qué va después? 
Así que estoy viendo una vivienda. ¿Ah? Ajá. Entonces sería, what do, what do, do. Cuando yo ah. hable de machine, la, la máquina es tercera persona, cuarta, perdón, primera, segunda persona. La máquina es segunda persona. Cuando yo digo it, ¿qué es? Primera, segunda, tercera persona. It. It's the third person. Vaya, entonces. Entonces, teacher, sería what do o what this. Seguro que es do. Ay, teacher, es que, es que me, me da el... Es que viera que tengo un gran sueño. En tercera persona, ¿cómo se pone? Do or does. Porque ese machine es tercera persona. Ah, entonces sería el does. Ah, vale. Ok, does. Entonces sería what does. ¿Verdad? Ok. What, what does machine. No, what does this machine. Ok. What does this Machine. Uh -huh. eh, y luego va el signo de, de, de interrogación. ¿Seguro? Eh, sí, porque ahí dice. What ¿Y el does? verbo dónde se lo puse? El verbo se lo puse después del das. Mira perdón. la fórmula y me dice cuántos verbos lleva una pregunta. No, teacher, perdón. El, el, el verbo se lo puse después del do, del das. Porque ah, sorry. Hay... Vuelvo a leer. Dice, what does this machine? Ajá, el verbo no lo escucho. Como no, dice, dice, what does this machine? Marcos, lea la, la, la fórmula. Read the formula. El verbo y me dice, dice cuántos verbos hay. What WH plus da, do o das, el auxiliar. El plus. auxiliar. El auxiliar es el do y el das, es el auxiliar. Luego va ah. subject. Luego, ah, entonces después va la máquina. Ajá, y después, ¿qué dice ahí en la, la, la fórmula? Después va, eh, el sujeto es la máquina y después va el verbo. Ajá. Eh, pasa. Ajá, entonces, ¿qué falta? Ah, entonces me falta, no sé, Ticha. Después del sujeto, ¿qué va, Marco? Después del sujeto va el complemento. No, ahí es la fórmula que va después, según la fórmula. Diga la fórmula. Después del sujeto, Ticha, va el verbo. Vaya, ¿y dónde está el verbo? Yo no lo veo. El verbo le hace falta, Marcos. Acá, el verbo le hace falta. A su pregunta, el verbo le hace falta porque tiene dos tipos de verbo. Una pregunta o una pregunta en WH o en Yes No Question siempre tiene que tener dos tipos de verbo. El verbo auxiliar y el verbo principal, que es la, la base forma. ¿sí? Entonces, si ahí le han dado el do, usted va a ocupar el auxiliar, porque está hablando de tercera persona de machine, va a ocupar das, pero el verbo ahí, el verbo que le están dando es el verbo principal y ese lo va a poner aquí, entonces usted va a decir what does this machine do? Question. Es que, es que eso me imagino yo que al final iba a poner el do y después iba a poner el signo de interrogación. Ok. ¿Verdad? ¿Listo? Vamos a probar. Dice, ya me pasé del, ya, ya nos pasamos de la hora. ¿De las dos horas? Sí, pero fíjese. ¿Le funcionó? Fíjese no, no me funcionó. ¿Le puso What el question mark? ¿Le puso la...? El this no le puse. Ah. Es que el this... Por ejemplo, what does this machine do? Entonces, pues después de das va el, el this. Para que tenga sentido, digo yo. 
Okay. Vamos a ver ahora. Hoy sí lo tiene que aceptar. Yes, it's correct. Ok. Le, fal le faltaba el dif. ¿Qué tiene que hacer en los demás? Así tienen que ser los demás. No, no perder ninguna y ponerle auxilio y verbo principal. ¿Sí? Ah, el que sí. le da ahí en la oración siempre va a ser el verbo principal. Usted va a determinar cuál es el, el verbo auxiliar, si es tú o el das. Cualquiera Ajá, de los dos, dependiendo de la persona, ¿ok? Ya me entendí, teacher. Ajá, ya me entendí okay. porque... Por Vaya, y con respecto al marco, con respecto a la pronunciación, vea los videos que he mandado de pronunciación. Eso, eso le va a ayudar bastante. Lo de los 44 phonemes. Y mañana vamos a ver un video eh, de pronunciación de, los, de la terminación de la ED en pasado. Hoy, para que lo siga mejorando. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Marcos. I Bye. hope you have an amazing night, okay? If you have any question, let me know, all right? Okay, teacher, thank you. Bye-bye, Marcos. Take care.